In 2015, we left the rat race and went to the farm. We bought a 100-year-old farmhouse and nine acres. After three years of extensive renovations, we can finally call ourselves College Hill Farm. Welcome back to College Hill Farm. Today, we're doing maintenance on our Easy Go golf cart by putting in an electric fuel pump. Our golf cart had the standard golf cart fuel pump. Uh, when I bought it, this cart wasn't running, and uh, the fuel pump was was part of the problem. Also, the backlash on the on the valves was another part of the problem. I worked on both of those and got the cart going, but the truth is the old fuel pump was weak. So I went out to our local parts store and bought a uh, an electric fuel pump, three to five pounds, which is what you need for the little carburetors. Uh, I bought an electric fuel pump and put it in, and it worked great for about nine months. Uh, those little fuel pumps, you're only going to get about a year out of them. Now, at the local parts store, there's like 50 bucks, but you can get them on eBay. Here's an example. I got two of these on eBay. I buy them two at a time because you get about eight or nine months out of them is all. And I buy these for $17 for two of them. So this is what they look like. Uh, they're real simple to, uh, to install. So one of these days I'm going to put one of these switches in, one of these clips, but I haven't done that yet to make it easier to install them. But that's neither here nor there. We're going to install this fuel pump today and I'm going to show you how because you got to be your own maintenance man on a homestead. Whenever you use, uh, whenever you change the fuel pump in your cart, uh, whether it's a, a regular fuel pump for them, which the regular fuel pump will probably last longer, but apparently my engine has some kind of uh, problem with its vacuum, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. I figure I'll have to replace this engine. I bought this cart for $700 because it wasn't working. And uh, I got the little Robin engine to working, so uh, I just keep replacing these little fuel fuel pumps, and eventually I'll wind up putting another engine in it. But until then, I'll just keep going. I always replace the fuel filters. Three bucks worth the effort. Now let's look at the inside of the cart. Under the seat is where the engine is. What I've got here is a little robin engine there was the original fuel filter right fuel pump right there and right here is the fuel pump that I've got in and it's bad it's gone and there's the fuel filter so I'm gonna exchange those out and then uh, all it is I just need to cut this wire loose this this hose goes to my carburetor it has a hose clamp on it and then this hose goes back to the fuel pump on the outside the fuel pump has a direction on it it shows you the direction of the flow so I need to cut this wire and take this off and that fuel pumps ready to come out and then I'm ready to put the new one in let's get this wire cut off keep that because that makes it will make it easier to put the other fuel pump on no that's got a screwdriver Okay, 
that fuel pump is out. Now, you want to make sure you get the direction of flow right. It comes out this end and goes in that end, so I need to turn it in the correct direction to get everything lined up. Install my hose on that side. Now, the hose has these little pinch clamps. You just pinch them. If you can get your pliers to open up far enough. You pinch them and just pull them back. Install it on this end. <clears throat> then put the clamp back up on it. Come on. You want it to go up past the tip that's on there so that it holds it good and solid. There we go. Not going to move none anyway. Put that on and it'll have to tighten to be really tight. My little vice grips and wrench. I can panic work. This filter looks pretty good. I may go ahead and use it. This end is tore up pretty bad. But if I can get the pipe back on it, I may go ahead and use it. Now, let's pull this clamp up. Get it clamped. You don't want gasoline just spewing everywhere. So you want to make sure these clamps are all attached. But now at 3 PSI, 3 to 5 is all these little pumps do. It is not, I repeat, it is not going to put enough pressure on these hoses to pop them off. Alright, those hoses are just not that, not that stout. Now, while I'm waiting, I'm going to go ahead and get this on like I said one of these days I'll fix up one of these clips to attach but every one of these pumps I get the clips different anyway so I don't know that that really matters Strip the two wires. There's one. Now strip the ground wire. And I'm making them long because this one needs to go around that bolt right there. And I'll go find another nut for it because I don't want to, I'm not going to put on a, a stake on Oh, I need to strip that one back. This is the key coming from the key switch. I just really don't feel like putting on a stake on because I know in about eight months I'll be doing this again. So from here on out, that gets tape. All right.
Okay, I moved the camera back so it's not in danger. Okay, back in business. I'd like to thank you for visiting with us at College Hill Farm today. I hope you found our videos entertaining and, and or informative. Uh, if you did, please like, share, subscribe, and comment on both Facebook and YouTube. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.